Hello. Some of the advice you're given as a defender in bridge may seem contradictory. For example, you learn on the one hand that the second player plays low, and then later you learn that you should cover an honour with an honour. If you delve into a bridge book or take a look online, you'll find that the advice about when to cover an honour with an honour usually will also say do it if it seems like the right thing to do. Do it if it will gain a trick for your side. So it seems there's no simple rule that's going to work for you all the time. Let's take a closer look. Just put one suit up here. We are in the east seat and second to play. Let's say dummy leads the queen. We're going to see what happens first if we play low. Queen to the eight. Queen's a winner, so to the five. And then to the three. One trick to declare. Let's knock those out. And now declarer can play the two through the king to the ace to the four. So that's a second trick to declarer. And now you can see that declarer has also two winners in hand, the jack and the ten. The score there, four to declarer in north-south and no tricks to east-west. This time dummy leads the queen. And we're going to follow the rule and cover the honour with an honour. So we're going to follow with the king. And now we force out declarer's ace and three from partner. So that's one trick to declarer. I think we can see now that declarer is going to win the jack and the ten of hearts. But West will be throwing the seven and the four on those two cards. West's nine is now a winning card in the suit. The score that time when we covered with an honour is three to north-south and one to us defending in east-west. One of the most important exceptions to the cover and honour with an honour guideline, when you can see two or more touching honours in dummy, and then it's normally right to cover the second or last honour that is played. I'm going to ignore no, ignore the advice about covering the second time. I'm going to cover the first time. Declarer will win the trick with the ace. So that's one trick. And now, unfortunately, Declarer is in a great position to finesse this 10 in West the next time round. You can see that if Declarer plays from hand, through West's cards, if West plays the 10, Declarer plays the Jack from Dummy. And of course, if West plays the 8, then Declarer will play the 9. So Declarer has already won one trick and is going to pick up the other three. So again, the score here is four tricks to North-South and no tricks to East-West. So now we'll just run that through according to the advice, which is when there are two honours in dummy, to cover the honour the second time round. And we'll see how that works. So this time, declarer is leading the queen from dummy. We're going to duck the first round. The queen's a winner, so declarer plays low. And that's one trick to declarer. Now, if the jack is led from dummy, we're going to cover the honour the second time with the king. Again, Declarer has to play the ace, so Declarer is again playing two high cards to capture one of ours, and that's a second trick to Declarer. Now, in this suit, West has a winning trick in the ten total this time round, three to north-south, and one trick to east-west. If you're second to play, so the advice to cover an honour works most of the time. By playing the king here, three of the top honours have been played. So as a result, lower cards in your hands may become winners. If you can see touching honours in dummy, it's usually right to cover the second time or cover the last honour to be played.
it's worth remembering that your judgment on each hand is also very important. If a guideline looks as though it's not going to work on a particular hand, then of course you should do something else. Goodbye for now. Mm -hmm.